all set to go over to the barn and judge the Halloween show. I decided not to do a costume this year. I just wasn't feeling up to it, but I got a good night's sleep and that was more important. Uh, so I've got on some Halloween earrings and a Halloween shirt. Um, so hopefully that will be, <laughs> that's, that's good enough. Um, yeah, it's kind of hazy in town today. The wildlife reserve has got a fire. So it's pretty hazy. Um, Ed Gordon Wildlife Management Area burned this summer when there was a lightning strike. And now, since we've had some more dry weather, apparently, I don't know if it was set by someone or if it was another lightning strike, but there's an area of it called Goose Pond and it's been burning for two days. So um, there's smoke in town today. So anyway, I'm headed over to the show. stuff was a lot of fun um i'm probably gonna end up riding in the christmas show which is fine because flame is over there and they've been using her in lessons It'll be the first time i've been on a horse since december <laughs> which will be wonderful and um, i'm outside filling up feeders and filling up water and unloading feed i put i moved the geese into a new pan with a top on it um and then i uh got a new tarp for the chicken tractor um because it was torn up and it's going to rain tonight we're under a, a severe thunderstorm watch uh right now they're calling for rain starting about six or seven o'clock and going all night it's amazing to me right now it's not, it was 90 degrees today when i got home from the barn and it's amazing to me that on monday night they're calling for the low to be 30. <laughs> you know so i mean our average annual last frost date is about the beginning of november so you know we're pretty well on track uh with that sometimes it's later than that sometimes it's earlier than that but anyway i'm gonna finish um my chores here i'm gonna let it rain overnight on everything and then tomorrow when it stops raining i'm gonna come out here and pick anything that's viable right um all the peppers all the tomatoes uh any any herbs i want to cut back i'll do all of that um and hopefully that'll be that i mean and i've i need to dig in the sweet potatoes and see what i've got in there i've got good vines i just don't know what i've got <laughs> as far as potatoes go but at any rate um, i'm going to keep on with my I believe that's a waiter waiter where's our dinner <laughs> i believe that's what that is so i better go get them their dinner yeah enjoying your dinner look at these beautiful thunderstorms forming up to the south here 
These are not going to come over me. They're moving pretty much due east. They're over the Petty Jean Wildlife Management Area, but they're just so beautiful. The, the way the light hits them. So the darker ones are in indicating they're mostly liquid water. The darker parts and the lighter parts are indicating that they're mostly frozen ices. So, yep, they're happy now they got their dinner. And I'm getting ready to put this new tarp on top of the chicken pen. Now we got a new tarp to put on the chicken tractor, so that's good news. I bought a heavy-duty tarp, and this should last them, easily last them all winter. They still got a little bit of room up here to get some sun in. So that's good news. Is that good stuff? Yep, that's good news. Well, I ran to town to do a couple of errands, and I got this really cool card yesterday from Marianne and her family. <laughs> Did they get me or what? <laughs> anyway, today's going to be pretty low-key. I'm going to do some house cleaning. My friend Sandy, who is having to start chemotherapy, who has started chemotherapy, um, it asked me if I would make her some chemo caps. So she sent me a pattern for some. So I think I'm going to um, get the stuff together to do that. She's going to provide the yarn, but I'm going to go ahead and try it out because she's already given me some yarn. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it out and see if I can make sense of it. Looks pretty straightforward. But anyway, it's a crocheted pattern, so it shouldn't take very long to make. So, but first, I'm going to clean the kitchen and do some laundry and uh, wash all my bed clothes and everything to get ready for the colder weather. Well, one of the things I'm gonna do today is dry peppers. So these are my really hot peppers. The ones with the little tails on them, I think, are the scorpions. And then the other shapes are the Carolina Reapers. So I'm going to dry these and probably infuse them in some oil. Um, and then I might make a batch of muscle rub out of it. We'll see. Well, it's going to be kind of loud because my vent is running in the background where I'm drying those peppers. But Tyree sent me these great stickers. Aren't these adorable? These are from um, the Chubble Gum Sticker Club that she's a member of, and these were the September ones for teachers. So, these are awesome, I love them. Thank you, Tyra. Well, I picked a few things out of the garden. These are some of my potatoes and sweet potatoes with a little bit of rosemary. This is a mixed bucket. Uh, there's a couple of peppers in here, and there's a whole bunch of these black tomatoes. Some of them are ripe, and some of them are still green. Um, and then there's some uh, cherry tomatoes in here also. And then in this bucket, get where you can see it in the light here, there are aromas and peppers and peanuts. Those are peanuts that I picked today. So um, that's pretty much all of the aromas that are ripe. I'm gonna wash those and probably make some sauce. And then peppers, the peanuts, I'll just wash up and probably uh, dry to uh, use for seed. Uh, same thing here. I'll probably dry the ch or eat the cherry tomatoes and then put the rest of these in the freezer. And these will be what I eat for the next couple of days. So, yay. Okay, so um, I'm going to end this video for today. Uh, keep it under 20 minutes, hopefully, this time. Um, I've gotten most everything done outside. So, I'm going to, my friend Sandy sent me a pattern, like I think I mentioned. I'm going to, um, look at it and see if I can get it sorted out and try to mock up a hat and then also tomorrow our faculty group that meets on Mondays is having an open day where anybody that wants to learn to knit or crochet if they want to stop by they can can and we can show them so I'm going to put together a list of links I had some people I put in an Instagram story about it but anyway so I thought I would do our two cards so uh, the first one today is Kuan Yin which is sacrifice um, associated with sacrifice, Kuan Yin is one of the most beloved goddesses of China. She is honored to this day as a holy mother of compassion. Upon her death, Kuan Yin was brought to heaven where her pure heart and merciful nature transformed her into a goddess. But instead of allowing herself to enjoy heaven's rewards, the goddess begged to be sent back to earth to help anyone in need, vowing never to leave until human suffering was vanquished forever. And so Kuan Yin sacrificed herself for the good of all. Because she personifies boundless compassion and kindness, devotees of Kuan Yin believe that even an act of speaking her name brings relief from pain. 
Some say that she walks among us still, looking after as many humans still in need of the many humans still in need of her care. Often we are required to be as boundless as Kuan Yin as we sacrifice ourselves for a greater good. However, there can be a danger that we will find more satisfaction in martyrdom than in supporting what we believe. Remember that to sacrifice is to make sacred, not to suffer. I think that's a good point, isn't it? I think sometimes people forget that. Okay, then uh, the next one is transformation. So, Yukimochi. Yukimochi, uh, after her death, the goddess of Jap the, the body of the Japanese food goddess, Yukimochi, was transformed to supply the food. <laughs> anywhere close to you. Ears. Stop that. She's not anywhere close to him. To supply food and other goods to nurturing all of humanity. Her head turned into cows who ran off to populate the earth and grain sprouted from her forehead. Then rice plants grew from her belly and their seeds scattering everywhere to start new plants. Finally her eyebrows twisted into silkworms whose thread wove into rainbow colored silks to clothe the gods and goddesses protecting them from the harsh elements. And so through Yukimochi's death, life was created, beginning a new cycle of continuous. So often in Western society, death is looked upon as an end instead of a transformation. We see the cycle of life as a straight line that begins in possibility and ends in destruction. Considering this, it is not surprising that we often resist change to cling to the old at the expense of new growth. While personal transformation can be a disconcerting experience, the transformation card offers us the hope that change can be for the best. I love that interpretation of death. Isn't that amazing? So that's where I'm going to end this for today. Um, I hope y'all are enjoying these uh, videos. I think it's working out pretty good where I post one every two or three days. And, um, you know, that way people are not getting bombarded by them, but we're still getting all the good fun stuff. So um, anyway, I will see you guys in a couple of days. Mm -hmm.